This program contains some material that many parents would not find suitable for children under the age of 14. Viewer discretion is advised. I detect bull brick seek. What's poppin' everybody? It's Sunday. We are starting the hunting week early this week. Only because I got a tip. I got a tip. So a buddy of mine, Peter, uh, messaged me last night. And he said, hey, he goes, I know you're looking for those G.I. Joe figures. And he's like, hey, he's like, I stumbled across them while I was at the mall. And I was like, no way. I was like, what store? So he told me that uh, FYE had them. And he sent me the picture and they had um, all of them. And I just, the only two that I need from that is just um, Destro and uh, Roadblock. The, the, the original Roadblock, not the, uh, the Cobra Mission Roadblock, because I already have him. <clears throat> but I'm like, holy crap. I'm like, that's awesome. So I'm headed over to my mall right now to go check that out to see if they're there. Please, please figure gods, let them be there for me. So uh, yeah, hopefully they'll be there and uh, we can get this, uh, this hunting week started off on the right foot. So I will see you guys once I get to the mall. And also, while I got you here, as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's all. Takes two, take, takes two seconds. Click the button. Subscribe. That's it. We're done. <laughs> so, alright guys. I'll see you once I get to the mall. Alright guys. I'm here right now. Outside of my mall. So, let's go inside and hopefully they got them. Alright. FYE's open up. Let's go inside. All right, guys, so score, we got them. So thank you, Peter, for the awesome tip. Um, this is all I got time for today. So I'm heading home right now, and I'll give you guys a better look at uh, the figures when I get home. All right, guys, and we are back home. Huge thank you again to my man, Peter, for giving me the tip that these were at the FYE by my mall. It's only like five minutes down the street from my house. So it worked out perfect. Um, so let's go ahead and talk about what I picked up. So I got the classified series roadblock, not to be confused with the Cobra mission roadblock. So we were able to get him, which is really cool because we still needed him for the, uh, to complete the first wave. Pretty cool. It's funny because the gun that's in here is almost identical to the gun that's in the Cobra mission one. So I don't know. Way to go, Hasbro. Way to repurpose the stuff. <laughs> and then last, we got Destro. This is a super badass figure. Destro is definitely one of the best uh, villains, in my opinion, on G.I. Joe. And he's got a couple of guns with him. He's got a briefcase. Super cool. So I am pumped about that. This is a fantastic way to start off the hunting week i know it's a little earlier than i normally start considering i normally start like on tuesdays or wednesdays but i couldn't pass this up i couldn't pass these up i couldn't pass up joe's so how to go get them so guys that is actually going to wrap up the hunt for today because i've actually got to finish editing my video for tuesday so you guys can watch that. So I got to get back to doing that. Um, tomorrow is Monday. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm 
hunting on Monday, but I know I almost certain I'm going to start on Tuesday this week because, you know, I definitely want to try to snag those uh, AEW figures. And then after them announcing that they were supposed to be in Walmart starting Monday, who knows? So guys, I'll see you then. What? It's popping everybody. It's Tuesday morning and you're like, it's not Wednesday, but you're up. Yeah, well, I'm up for a reason. There's uh, something that I've been searching for in the past couple of videos that finally hit one of my targets and Pop Finder saying it's in stock. So of course I've got to do my due diligence and go over there and check it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, hope everybody's having a good start to the week so far. Um, you know, uh, last time we left off it was uh, Sunday. And I found the uh, Destro and the Roadblock that I've been looking for. So now I have the entire first wave of G.I. Joes. Now we're just looking for the rest of the second wave because I already have the uh, Cobra Mission Roadblock and the Cobra Mission uh, Trooper. So we're looking for the rest of those. Um, I believe finally the AEW figures are finally starting to hit. So I got to be on the lookout for those. Um, we're looking for the uh, Punisher with the motorcycle, so we gotta find that, and uh, yeah, just keep plugging along, so uh, like I said, I'm in the car right now, I'm on the way to Target, and let's go see if Pop Finder's inventory checker holds up to, uh, holds up to its word, so I'll see you once I get to Target. Alright guys, we're here right now, outside of Target, so luckily no one's here yet. So, it looks like I got a shot of getting it since they only said they had two in stock. But, let's see if Target continues on the streak of helping me in 2020, or do they want to revert back to their old ways? Let's find out. Alright, we're going down the toy hole first to see if it's on the shelf. And, it's not on the shelf, which means that they probably have it in the back. Um... All right, well, I'll come back to this. Uh, let me get someone to help me. Okay, so the first employee temp was unsuccessful because clearly that person did not want to help me. So then I asked someone else, and that person came through in the clutch. Ooh. Age of Apocalypse? Apocalypse. What in the tits? Hell yeah. So, all right, let's go see what they got on the other side because I looked already looked at the legends uh let's see they got Bobby Heenan they got Seth Rollins looks like a lot of the norm stuff uh black series not much it's a child multiple child they've got so many childs and uh yeah so all right let me go check out the NECA section and see if they got anything. So we're here at the NECA section right now. Bunch of Godzillas, Terminator, Gremlins, Predator, Halloween, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street, Rhino Alien, It, Trick or Treat, and Gizmo. A uh, bunch of other miscellaneous stuff, Golden Girls. So, all right, well, I don't care about that. I came for the one thing that I wanted to get, which is that. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go pay for this right now. Um, I'm going to go hit up a Walmart and see if any AEW stuff showed up. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I hope that this morning will continue to work out for me. Because I'm here right now outside of Walmart. And I'm hoping we can find those AEW figures. So let's go inside. Okay, so we're here right now. They got Joker, Azrael, Superman. Uh, yeah, Leader, Mach 1, Rage, Marvel. Got the uh, Ghostbuster figures. They got the, the Kenner Retro one. Uh, Godzilla vs. King Kong. Uh, got the, the child. <clears throat> I got K 
K2SO. There's the WWE stuff. There's the AEW stuff, just the ring and the belt. Seems to be the reoccurring theme everywhere we go. I got the Faker John Cena, Rey Mysterio, Roman Reigns. Uh, some Transformers stuff. Uh, we got the uh, Skeletor. Uh, and that seems to be about it. So no AEW stuff other than the belt and the ring. Alright, I'm going to get home. I'm actually going to head home. I got some stuff to take care of. And then um, I'll probably head back out this afternoon. So I'll see you then. Alright guys, so I am back out. So I'm home, sitting at my desk working. And I get a message from my uh, buddy Dave, who was in the last video. Says, hey dude, if you're looking for this... They have it at the Target down the street from um, my house because, you know, we both live in the same area. So I'm like, oh shit. So of course, the thing's out of the house and I call her up and I'm like, hey, I'm like, where are you? And she goes, I'm at Target. And I'm, I start laughing and of course I'm like, what Target are you at? And she's like, oh, I'm at the Target at 441. So I'm like, okay, perfect. I'm like, I need you to go over to the NECA section and do me a favor thing. And she's like, what? She gets to the section, she FaceTimes me, I see it sitting right there, and I'm like, okay, what I need you to do is to hide it for me, and she goes, hide it for you? I'm like, yeah, I'm like, fucking hide it for me. She goes, why do you want me to hide it for you? I'm like, well, obviously I want people to see me going to the store and picking it up on camera. They don't want to see you. <laughs> they don't want to see the thing. So, I told her to hide it. <laughs> I know, right? I'm such an asshole. So I told her to hide it, and um, I knew where she. I know, I know exactly where she put it. So she came back home. I'm in my car now. I'm on my way over to Target to go grab this. This is gonna be freaking hilarious. I'm gonna die laughing if I get there and somebody found it. Ugh, that would just be my luck. But you know what? Hey, it's the chance you take. So I'm headed over there now. Hopefully, it's still sitting there. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys once I get to Target so I can show you what this is. All right, guys, we're here right now outside of Target. So I hope my wife hit it in a spot to where, where it wouldn't get noticed. So let's go inside and see if the thing actually did her job. She did her job. She did her job. Uh, there it is, the musical tour. She did her job. Oh, look at you thing coming through. All right, while well, I'm here, let's check the NECA section. We got Terminator, Godzilla, a bunch of horror stuff. Uh, let's see, Ralphie, Gremlins. And they got the uh, shirt, an extra large. Uh, let's see. Got Batman and Wonder Woman. Uh, and that seems to be about it. So, all right, well, uh, let's go see what they got for Legends. All right, guys, so looks like we're here at the Black Series. Got a Jet Trooper. Luke Skywalker, Ray. Got some wrestlers. You got Billy Kay and Mandy Rose and... Bobby Heenan and some of the belts and ambulance. Ambulance. Uh, let's see. Come around here for the figures. Uh, let's see. Looks like a bunch of the stuff from the Abomination Wave. Age of Apocalypse. Deluxe Black Widow. Squirrel Girl. No Punisher yet. Uh, Ghostbusters, but no G.I. Joes. Wow, looks like their Transformers section got raided too. So, all right, well, I don't care about that because we got Turtle Dick. We got Turtle Dick. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to pay for this and, uh, yeah, go back home because I got some other stuff I got to do. So I ran out real fast to come get this. So um, I'll show you what I picked up this morning and this, and, uh, yeah, we'll take a better look at it when I get home. All right, guys, so let's go over what I picked up today. Starting with this morning, 
running out to Target because they had the Age of Apocalypse Apocalypse. And this thing is super badass. It is really cool. So even though I already have an Apocalypse, I'm like, hey, you know what? What's better than having one Apocalypse? Two Apocalypse. So, but this one's actually really cool. This is from a different series, so the look's kind of different. I like the fact that it comes with that, like, skull, you know, he can hold in his hand. So, pretty dope. Then, I went back out later in the afternoon, and the thing came through in the clutch. So, we got the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle NECA music... Musical Mutant Gin Tour. You guys can see this thing is freaking dope. It's got like a little cutout on the back for a mask, which that's just creepy as hell. That mask looks creepy as hell. So, but this is super freaking cool. Um, the box is really neat. I like the art on it. So yeah, pretty cool. Freaking OG geek getting me into more turtle dick. Son of a bitch. <laughs> so, yeah, this is really cool. I'm glad I find this. And the thing, kudos to the thing, because she did her job. I told her to hide it. She hid it. It was in a place where no one could find it. And we got it. So, it also helps, too, that the target's, like, literally, like, two minutes down the street from my house. <laughs> so, pretty cool, guys. So, guys, that is actually going to wrap up our Tuesday. Tomorrow is Wednesday. And I will be back out on the hunt. So, I will see you then. What's poppin' everybody? It is Wednesday and we're out of work. We are back on the hunt. So, yeah. Yesterday was a was a good day, no complaints. We found uh, Apocalypse and we found uh, the uh, Concert Turtles. No complaints. All is right with the world. So, uh, yeah. I am heading over to the target that's across the street from my office uh we'll see if they got anything and uh yeah we'll go from there so i will see you guys once we get there all right guys we're here now outside of target so let's go inside and see if they get anything good we're at the neck section right now uh looks like a whole lot of nothing so Got some Pennywise Halloween Jasons in the back. Friday the 13th, Batman. Ah, I got Baby Yoda socks. Uh, Alright, well. Uh, let's go see what they got for figures. All right, here's some DC stuff. We got Batman Who Laughs. It's Harley. Batman from the Animated Series. Uh, Transformers. Ghostbusters, no G.I. Joe, uh, not much in the way of Legends, Spymaster, Morph, Weapon X, Black Widow, Squirrel Girl. Uh, let's go around and see what's around the river bend. And we got Bobby Heenan's, Finn Balor's, AJ's, AJ's. Matt Hardy, Jeff Hardy, belts, ambulance, cage. Uh, nothing in the way of Black Series. They got Landau, they got C3PO, Han, Landau, Landau. And they got the best pin, Luke. Uh, Probe Droid. And that seems to be about it. So, alright. Uh... Let me figure out where I'm going to go next, and uh, yeah, I'll let you know once I get there. Alright guys, I am here right now, outside of the Tate's location in Boynton Beach. So, obviously nothing good happens when I come to Tate's, because you know what that means. Hot toys! Hot toys! Let's go inside.
like I say it once, I'll say it twice, I'll say it a thousand times. Nothing good happens when I go to Tate's. Hot toys! Hot toys! Hot toys! So, you guys will just have to wait to see what it is until I get home. But I'm heading over to a Target now that's across the street. So I'll see you once I get there. Alright guys, I am at a new Target that I haven't been to before. So, uh, we're gonna go inside to this Super Target and see if we have any luck. Alright, so it doesn't look like much here in the NECA section. It's some jack-in-the-box jokers star wars glasses gizmo halloween seems to be about it so all right uh let's go check the figure section all right so we got green lantern superman nightwing batman oh batman uh variants uh transformers Right, Ghostbusters, no G.I. Joe, uh, Gamerverse, and then, ooh, we got Age of Apocalypse, but we found him yesterday. What I do need is the Punisher on the motorcycle, but we haven't found that yet. Uh, Taskmasters, Weapon X, and then through the WWE, not much. Bunch of AJs, Billy Kay, Mandy Rose, uh, Probe Droid. And that is about it, people. So, yeah. I mean, like I said, I got this yesterday, but it's cool that it's sitting here. So, all right. Uh, let's uh, figure out where I'm going to go next. All right, guys, and I am back home. And, boy, did I, sh did I get lucky today. So I went into Tate's and of course, nothing good happens when I go into Tate's because that only means one thing. Hot toys, hot toys, hot toys. So we got, we're in the process of uniting the league is the proper vernacular. So we got the Flash. So... This is actually, I don't know if it got waitlisted or it's sold out on Sideshow's website, but the price, obviously, once something gets waitlisted or it sells out, it goes through the roof. Um, this started to go up in price, so I'm actually glad Tate still had it for retail. So I got lucky, unlike that Superman. That Superman's going to be such a bitch to track down. So let me see if I can give you guys a better look. But super cool. I like how it comes with the lightning effects so when um you know you can pose them you can have the lightning effects come out of his hands like when he's running so <clears throat> this one's actually going to be uh be a fun one to try to pose so super cool we got the flash so yeah guys of course you know the deal it would not be a normal hunt video if there was not a hot toy pickup involved it's just the way of life now i can't i can't change it <laughs> so all right, guys, that is going to wrap up Wednesday. So tomorrow is Thursday. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I'm going out tomorrow or not. Um, obviously, if I do, you guys will see it. If not, plan on Friday, and uh, I'll see you then. What's popping, everybody? It's Friday. We're out of work, and we're back on the hunt. So um, took the day off yesterday. Decided to rela rest and relax a little bit. Take it easy. So, uh, yeah, so we're still on the hunt for the a damn AEW figures. You know, I see other people posting pictures that they're finding them. Why can't I find them? Because Walmart sucks. <laughs> Walmart sucks. Um, still trying to find uh, the G.I. Joes, so we're still trying to find uh, uh, Beachhead and Cobra Commander. And I guess uh, since today's the 14th, they were supposed to... Uh, Target was supposed to release them. Um, I don't think any of the stores got the Baroness with the motorcycle, so what, what are you going to do? Um, and yeah, that's really all I'm still trying to track down. And maybe if we come across more Hot Toys, who knows? Who knows? I already bought a Hot Toy this week. I don't know if I want to buy any more. <laughs>
that's not true. <laughs> so, all right, guys, I am going to attempt to hit up um, a Walmart and see if they've got anything to start with. Um, maybe they put out their uh, AEW display. Who the hell knows? So, yeah, I'm going to head over there now, and I'll see you once I get there. All right, guys, we're here right now outside of the first Walmart. So let's go inside and see what they got. All right, guys, we're here at the Walmart right now, and there it is, the freaking AEW display. They got the belts, the UFC figures, and all they got is left is Kenny Omega, but I don't care. I'm going to take it. Uh, okay. Uh, all right, let's go see what they got in the figure section. All right, so we got Batman, Mr. Fantastic. Uh, looks like we got... A roadblock sitting over here. Uh, let's see what else that I got. Godzilla and King Kong. Uh, oh, they got the uh, Luke and Yoda. Got a whole bunch of them down there. Got the AW ring. Got Lacey Evans. We got. Ricochet back there, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Braun, Ghostbusters, uh, yeah, okay, so, this Walmart, not so bad, um, I grabbed one of the Kenny Omegas, um, let me go walk over to, uh, the NECA section, see if they got anything, maybe we'll get lucky over there. Alright, so good start, we finally found an AEW display. Granted, everything was gone except there were two Kenny Omegas left, but I got a Ke I got a Kenny Omega, which is great. So now, of course, what do I do? Now I got to hit up the rest of the WalMarts on my way home now, and see if we can get lucky and find the rest. So, fuck my life. It's cool though. I'm 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 excited. I'm excited. It's the start. Right, before I hit up any more WalMarts, I decided to come to Target because I wanted to see if we can find the second wave of G.I. Joe figures and see if they put them out yet since today was the day that they were supposed to. So let's go inside and see what they got. All right, guys, we're at the NECA section right now. Man, they are stocked on Godzilla's. Got a bunch of horror stuff. They got turtle shirt down there. Um, got a variant Batman over here. And that seems to be about it so all right well let's go see what they got for figures all right guys we're here at the black series we got luke lando three and three quarters lando probe droid baby yoda a bunch of draft park figs uh, we got ultimate edition shinsuke uh finn balor nikki that's about it let's see what's on the other side We got Squirrel Girl, uh, that's it for Marvel Legends, Black Widow, no G.I. Joes, got Transformers, we got Oasis, that is not Optimus Prime, it looks way too funky, uh, a bunch of DC figures, and that seems to be about it, so, alright. I'm going to continue on my journey, and obviously you'll find out where I go next. All right, guys, we are here now outside of another Walmart. So let's keep our fingers crossed and hope we can find the rest of the AEW figures. All right, guys, we're down the toy aisle now. That's all I got for Black Series. Child. Red Power Ranger. Uh, belts. I got the AEW ring. The belt it seems to be about it. Uh, let's see. No Legends, no G.I. Joes. They got the uh, Megatron, the War for Cybertron, which is pretty cool. Uh, and that seems to be about it. Shit. Whole lot of nothing. Alright, well... 
Uh, let's go see if they have a Funko or, an, well, ooh, 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 I used the bad word. Um, let's go see if they have a NECA section and see if they got anything. All right, guys, we're here at the NECA section. So they got Godzilla, some Dragon Ball stuff, Texas Chainsaw, Halloween, Joker, Borderlands, My Hero, Pennywise, all the normal nonsense. All right. Um, I got time to hit up one more Walmart and then I got to get home because I got to get ready for the geek show tonight so we're gonna go hit up that Walmart and we'll go from there all right guys and we are back home and thank God we finally went to a Walmart that had an AEW display they had the belts they had the UFC figures in the bottom but they only had Kenny Omega left which there's nothing wrong with that because he is the cleaner the master of the v-trigger and the one-winged angel so Definitely awesome to find him. So here it is right here. We got Kenny Omega. This is freaking awesome. I'm so excited again for these AEW figures, especially the fact that I'm getting back into collecting wrestling figures again. So this is awesome. Um, the figure itself looks great. The only thing I'm like not 100% on is the, is the portrait, but it's still a pretty badass figure. The Cleaner, Kenny Omega. So guys, that is actually the only thing I picked up today, which is crazy. So um, <clears throat> tomorrow is Saturday, and I am going to be driving all over God's green earth to try to find the rest of these. So hopefully I get lucky, we find them, and we go from there. So guys, I got to cut it short. I got to get ready to go do a podcast, and I'm also doing the Geek Show in about an hour and a half, so I gotta get ready for that. So again, tomorrow is Saturday, and I will see you guys then. What's poppin', everybody? It is Saturday. Woo! So, super excited yesterday that we found an AEW display. We got Kenny Omega, so that's a start. Um, I actually got a lead on the rest of them, possibly. I'm heading down now to go check them out unfortunately i have to go down to miami welcome to miami we're going to miami <laughs> so yeah i gotta go down to miami now and check to see if the tip holds up true so if not it'll definitely be a fun drive down to miami <laughs> so hopefully we can find the rest of those aew figures and uh you know we'll see what else i uh i come across today so let's go down to Miami and check out this Walmart. All right, guys, I am here right now, finally down in Miami, and we are at the Walmart. So please let this tip pay off because I really don't want to feel like I drove down here for nothing. I'm down the figure aisle right now. Some Batmans, some Legends. They got Gwen Stacy. They got Ghostbusters, but... I don't see any G.I. Joes anywhere. They got wrestling, which is cool. They got Christian. They got Braun. Got AJ, Lacey Evans. They got Grand Malatique. They got Kalisto. Um child not much in the way of Star Wars stuff um, yeah um, I, I don't see the AEW figure so let me keep looking hold on right, guys here is the display and it looks like Brickseek did me dirty it was saying that they had six plus and all I see are the UFC figures and the belts damn it so all right. All right, guys, I am here now at Walmart number two. This is going to turn into another Captain America fig hunt. I feel it. I feel it. So let's go inside and see what they got. All right, guys, we're down 12. They got Superman, Marvel Legends. They got the uh, Megatron from the Netflix series. Uh, does not look like a whole lot of anything. There's the AEW belt. Not much in the way of that. They got the 
Faker John Cena. Uh, that's really all I got for Star Wars, Jesus. It's pitiful. And uh, yeah. Oh, fuck. So, they didn't have an end cap here, or they didn't have a display like we, they did at the last Target I went to. So, I'm assuming they don't have them. Stop yarn at me, dinosaur. Mind your own goddamn business. Fuck. So, all right, let's go to the next Walmart. All right, guys, I decided to take a break from Walmarts and come to the one, the only, Bits and Buttons. So let's go inside and see what they got. All right, guys, we're here inside right now. Got some Transformers. I'm digging that Prime right there. That, that's really cool. I don't have any Optimus Primes, but I do like that. That is really cool, and it's not bad at $35. Might have to think about that. Got some Primal Rage figures. Got Masters of the Universe. We got Prince Adam. We got GoBots. What else do we got? We got Toxic Avenger stuff. Pretty cool. There's some more Masters of the Universe stuff. Pretty cool. And of course, here's the section of Turtle Dicks. Got Foot Soldier, Krang. Got some minis. Pretty cool. Got some vintage Ninja Show stuff. We got a Super Shredder back there, vintage one. Got Elephant Titus. <laughs> Just love coming up with that name, coming up with these weird ass names. A lot, a lot of cool stuff. Got the Pizza Thrower. Got a pencil container. Got the drapes. We're gonna get the drapes from Mike's room when he gets a new place. Of course, we got open Lucy's Ninja Turtle stuff. And then we're gonna move on to the WWE stuff. Which is really cool. Got a whole bunch of these figures. I, I almost kind of want to get into these, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, uh oh, why do I feel something creeping behind me? What is this? Uh, where is he? Oh. Hey guys. That's the new mascot of uh, of uh, bits and buttons. It's Dwork. Hey, what's popping YouTube? It's your buddy Dwork. Get your Dwork on. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Here at the seamstress shop. The seamstress shop. Yeah. Why do you call it? Jackass named it Bits and Buttons. <laughs> Don't know what the fuck he was thinking. It's a fucking toy store. <laughs> All right, Dwork. You, I think you need to like calm down a little bit. You're working yourself up a little bit. You're getting too excited. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you have a hand up your ass? Yeah. Can I stick mine up yours? No. I have two. You gotta, you gotta first, you know, wind me and dine me first before you do that. I also got a nice long tail. Let's see, let's see the tail. It's a little flaccid, but there it it'll is. work. Yeah, it's a, here, here. Oh, yeah. It's a tail. Oh, fingering your tail. <laughs> you like long things, don't you there, Seth? That's what now, she said. <laughs> now I see why it's called What's Poppin', obviously. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Your fucking cherry there, buddy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Ah. <laughs> Alright, Dwork, go back into your hole. Later, dudes. <laughs> Alright, everybody, that was a special appearance from the new Bits and Buttons mascot, Dwork. Thank you, Dwork. <laughs> oh, fucking guy. You got some WWE pops over here. I can't even think right now because I had this fucking creature, this creature come out of nowhere. Got some more WWE Lucy's. Got some cool figs. We got the Masters of the W hey, Universe guys, figures. Hello. Got Braun Strowman. Got oh, Faker John Cena. Roman Reigns. He's got uh, Razor Ramon. Yeah. Got Ronda Rousey. Got John Cena and Tucker. AJ. Nikki Cross. Jeff Hardy. Mandy Rose. Eric Young. Um, he does have a. AEW ring right here, which I'm probably going to wind up buying. So, I know I've come across it at Walmart, and you guys are like, oh, why don't you buy it at Walmart? Well, I don't want to support Walmart. I want to support my local business. I want to support local businesses, so that's what I'm doing. I'm supporting bits and buttons by buying that. So, I'm probably going to get that so I can, the, the AEW figures that I do have, which is just the one at the moment, which is Kenny Omega, I can start building like a little display of it. Um... Believe it or not, 
he does have a Casey Jones with a foot soldier, which is kind of cool. Even though we already found that, but I didn't find that for me. I found that for a buddy. We got some Iron Maiden, Predator. He's got Mad Balls. We got some NECA Alien and Predator figures. Uh, all right, let's see what else he's got on the other side. We got some Legends. We got some Doc Ock. We got Magneto, Spider Man. We got a Mark Forty Six Iron Man, Captain Marvel. Yeah. Doppelganger. I found it online. Oh, nice. Some left Ant Man and Wasp and on, on your Claw website, and Fury. It says that you have the White Ranger from the Minor Ranger movie. Got the well, old school Wolverine. No. Got Beast, some Toy Biz stuff, old Toy Biz stuff. Um, got Superman, Batman, some of the DC Universe figures. We got some Black Series stuff. Um, what do we got? Yeah, we got Ray down there. Some more vintage Star Wars stuff. Oh, cool. He's got the assault combat tank that came in the vintage one. Oh, let's see what else we got. Got some vintage Star Wars figures. Some Silver Hawks and Thundercats. Job of the Hut Play Doh set. It's kind of cool. Got some G.I. Joe stuff over here. Got some Thundercats. Weapons. Got some Dick Tracy down there. Cowboys of Mesa. Some more vintage figures and like Happy Meal toys. I remember those superhero Looney Tunes Happy Meal toys in the back. Those things were awesome. And uh, yeah, let me see what's on the other side. He's got Transformers over here, which is pretty cool. Animorphs. Uh, Power Rangers, got the Green Ranger helmet, some other vintage figures, so, alright, so, I'm probably going to go ahead and buy that AEW ring, and then I'm going to figure out where I'm going to go next, and uh, we'll go from there. Alright guys, I am determined to find these goddamn AEW figures, so I decided to come up and try Brick Seek one more time. And I'm at a Target, I'm no Target, I'm at a, see this is how fucking pissed off I am right now. So, I'm at a Walmart, I drove 44 minutes to get to, no one ever better questioned my determination. Alright guys, we're here, down the toilet right now, got some Batmans, uh, looks like that's all we got for Legends, um, Power Rangers, Transformers, WWE, oh, here we go, oh, yes. What do they got? There's Jericho. There's Nick Jackson, Mac Jackson, Cody. Oh yeah, they got them all. Oh, this is awesome. All right. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Uh, there they are. We found them. We finally did it. Obviously, I couldn't yell because I was in the middle of Walmart, but now I'll yell, Super Kick Party! We're going to have that when we get home. So, I'm done for the day. I'll show you guys what I got when I get home, and we'll go from there. All right, guys, and we are back home, and thank God we finally found the rest of the AEW wave. I was losing such hope, but unbelievable. So, first, let me start out. I was actually at um, <clears throat> where I picked stuff up from. Um, I was at Bits and Buttons hanging out with the owner, Dominic, and the new store mascot, Dwork. So if you guys want to know who Dwork is, go check my, out my Instagram and go check out I, uh, the, IGTV, uh, the IGTV part of it. And you'll see a little uh, intro video of the new store mascot, Dwork. It's freaking hilarious. Um, even though I've seen it at Walmart <clears throat> upon my travels, um, I decided to pick up from bits and buttons uh, let me get it out of the bag the AEW ring so we got this and you guys are asking me probably like well why didn't you just buy it from Walmart upon your travels well I'm a person that likes to help support local business and not big chain unfortunately we you know and I say that and you guys are like oh but you buy shit from Target and Walmart yeah it's because I'm subjected to that and I don't have a choice but if I, wherever I can support small business, that's what I do. So I bought this from Bits and Buttons. 
This is awesome. So I'm actually going to take the figures out of the box and put them on the display and actually see if I could fit them in here somewhere behind me so you guys can see them because I think that would be pretty cool. So I want to incorporate a little bit of wrestling into my display. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so we got the ring. <clears throat> then I went through multiple, multiple Walmarts and nothing. I had to drive 45 minutes out of my way north to a... Um, Walmart in Palm Beach that I've never even been to so <clears throat> I walk in of course I don't see the display so of course I'm immediately getting discouraged even though Brickseek said them they had in stock and Brickseek had already lied to me earlier in the morning at that other Walmart I went to down in Miami um so yeah so I walked down the toil and there they were they were actually sitting on the shelf so thank god we caught a break so <clears throat> we got Le, Le Champion, the demigod, the leader of the inner circle, Chris Jericho. So this is badass, but however, I am going to do my best to see if I can try to track down the chase variant of him. They, I think they made like a thousand of them, and it's just him wearing an inner circle t-shirt, and I think he's got like a bottle, a bottle of something with him, but <clears throat> I definitely want to try to get that chase i think it would be awesome but again i think they only made like a thousand of them so god knows how much that's gonna that's gonna cost that's something that i probably might have to buy second hand if i want it that bad because the odds of finding it are probably like slim to none so we got jericho <clears throat> then next up we have got cody so super cool we got Cody with the sledgehammer. Um, he's got, there's a lot of detail in the pants. I like the tattoo on the chest. Um, obviously, this is pre, this figure was pre-done before he got the uh, the tattoo on his neck. So, pretty sweet though. It is an awesome looking figure. He's got his hand, his one hand taped up like he normally does. So, and he's got his belt on. Pretty cool. It is, these are really great figures. So, I'm, I'm interested to see, you know, obviously I, um, I believe the next wave is like Dean, uh, not Dean Ambrose, ha <laughs> ha John Moxley, um, who else did I see? <sighs> I forgot who else I saw, but I know John Moxley's in that, so obviously I'm going to definitely want to try to get that, <clears throat> but pretty cool, Cody. <clears throat> and then last but not least, Super Kick Pate! We got the Young Bucks, we got Matt and Nick. Jackson, freaking badass. I love the suits. They're so freaking cool. Awesome. So, it looks like they only just, they don't come with any kind of accessories. So, they're just in their suits. But they definitely, I mean, the, you know, the company that made these definitely did a pretty decent job on the uh, portraits. So, pretty close and the suits are awesome. So yeah, I'm 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 in love with these things. These things are awesome. So the only one I don't have is Brandy, and I heard that Brandy's like the hardest one to find. But somebody I was I forgot who I was talking to yesterday. Um, somebody said that they were gonna come out. Uh, she was gonna come out in Wave Two along with Wave Two. So <clears throat> I don't know if that's true or not. But you know what? We're just gonna keep looking, and if we find Brandy, we find Brandy. So <clears throat> we got the Young Bucks. All right, guys, so I would have to say it was a super epic week of hunting. I got some great stuff. I'm so glad I got these AEW figures. I was so worried that I wasn't going to be able to find them. We finished off Wave 1 of G.I. Joe, which is fantastic. We've got Apocalypse. We've got Hot Toys! Hot Toys! And we got this big-ass turtle dick sitting over here. <laughs> So guys, that is going to wrap up the video. So if you guys like what you saw, please be sure to give a thumbs up. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe. As always, be sure to hit that bell so you get notified every time another episode of What's Popping gets uploaded for your viewing pleasure. As always, you can check out all the excellent content we offer at mcecentral.com. And until next time, guys, that's what's popping. <clears throat> I don't know about you guys, but I'm going to unbox all this stuff right now. And I'm going to have a super kick hot pie. Hmm. See you guys on the next one. <laughs>